What's going on, everybody? Welcome to GMI's World. And what we're about to get into right now, I'm going to talk to you about the team leader sets and the ones that are really worth doing. And when I say team leader sets, I mean the cards that are actually the 86 overall of the actual teams that you do. And if you guys are not familiar with the team leader sets, I'm going to show you really quickly. Uh, pretty much you play all these games and then you get pennants after you play the elite versions of each game. And then you put that into a set to get OBJ. All right. I have so many videos here displaying about how to uh, do it, how to set your lineup and everything like that. Just go ahead and search it right here at Jemai's World as far as team leader sets, how to set your lineup and stuff like that. You'll get the videos on how to do that, right? Okay, this video is strictly to let you guys understand. You do not have to just pick it right away. These are what's called fantasy packs. So the reason that I have these packs still here with the 86 overall and I haven't picked one is because they all suck. So I don't want you guys to do this. This is what happens, right? People will do things like that. Oh, I opened the pack. I got to pick one now. So what happened was all these guys suck, right? I'm not saying the Dallas Cowboys suck for the Dallas Cowboys fans. I'm saying that their team leaders suck. All these cards are garbage, in my opinion, all right, compared to what I have. Let's take it. Let's take Dak Prescott, for instance. This dude has an 82 throw power. Where they do that at? Like, where they do that at, dog? Like, I'm not running around with a dude that's a grown man with 82 throw power. You see what I'm saying? I'd rather just take Big Ben Roethlisberger. He's slow, all that stuff like that. I'd rather deal with that. Byron Jones at a free safety position. Now, this is not fair because I have the Mutt Master, Sean Taylor. I would say that if I didn't have the Mutt Master, that he would be decent. But a 67 hit power? Bruh, where they do that at? You know what I'm saying? Like, what? Are you serious right now? Jason Witten, the dude is slower than Gary the Snail from SpongeBob. And this dude, Zach Ertz, is a bum, but I'd rather have him. You see what I'm saying? No, I'm not doing that. Orlando Skandrick, another bum that made Larry Fitzgerald moss him into, like, oblivion. Why would I do that when I got a team leader in James Bradbury that's an 87 speed and just, you know what I'm saying, even though it shows, like, they're mostly, you know, he has a little bit more agility, man coverage, and all that stuff, zone, it, what, zone is what matters in Madden 18. So I'll take the zone coverage over everything else that he's doing. Plus, he's a bigger dude at 6'1". He gets up. He does whatever. He has that hit power action going also. Um, I don't know what Skandrick's hit power is, but I'm pretty sure it's nowhere near what this guy's hit power is. So uh, when you think about those things that, that I'm looking for, he has a 68. Bradbury has an 81. Why would I do that? And then Cole Beasley, he's just too small. And then he's also slow. 84 speed, bro. Where did he do that at? Like, bro, and you, he got an 87 jump. Like, hold on, what's Randy Moss's jump? Oh, 90. What? So Beasley can jump almost as high. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What? What? I'm not going to talk about it. But listen, the whole point about this is don't make the mistake of thinking that you have to pick one right then and there. You don't. You simply back out and it goes back right there into your item set. And the same thing that goes on with Eagles, bro. All of their team leaders suck. I don't want, bro. I don't know what to pick because they all suck. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, not, not, bro. Nigel, no. Bro, now he a goon though at 82. He better than he better than Gauntlet Champions. This bum Terrell Suggs though. Like he better than him though. But in everything else, with the green on the other side, it's like I might as well have this bum Terrell Suggs hanging out. I know he's slow, but I just think overall he's just a better, you know what I'm saying? He's a better player. You know, in my opinion. Okay? Malcolm Jenkins, bro. This dude is mad slow. He has no self-respect coming out with an 81 speed. Like, bro, okay. Timmy Jernigan, I might end up get rocking with this dude. Because, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, nah, I'm not gonna, his strength is kind of low. Nah, we can't do that. Nah, nah, where they do that at? Like, bruh, nah, we ain't doing that. And then Zach Ertz, you guys already saw I had the other version of him. He's a bum and they left his speed the same. They didn't even really do nothing with him, so why would I choose that? And then this dude, Darren Sproles, a dude fractured his butt cheekbone, his elbow, his neck, and everything in one play. Like, why would I want that kind of guy on my squad? You know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. I just don't want you guys making this mistake. Once you look at it, just save it until later. And then at the end, when you're ready to get OBJ, then you just pick a random one or whatever, and then you just do whatever you got to do. But don't feel that you have to pick one right then and there, all right? I just wanted to make sure you guys know that. You don't have to do it. So whenever you're not, whenever you, if you're not ready to make a decision, also you could go to Mudhead and look at the stats on there and see what's going on with that before you make any kind of rash decisions and get a bum, all right? I just want to make sure you guys and girls know that for you guys that's playing Madden. Uh, that way it's just easier. You don't feel like you have to do it right then and there. But the pennants are inside these to help you get the OBJ. And those pennants, you have to get them if you're trying to unlock the OBJ. So when it comes down to it, when you're done with everything and you're ready to do it, that's when you do it. When you're ready to go ahead and unlock OBJ, that's when you start, you know what I'm saying, pulling out the pennants, all right? Uh, until then, don't worry about it. Until next time, one love.